Um, Denethor, um, so where are you up to? I am going to Julie. Okay. And I'm trying to figure out if she's feeling better. Um, roll an inside for me, my uh, inside check for me, please. Because I'm not really talking to her. I'm just you're just trying to gauge how she's feeling by sight. Okay, that's that's understandable. Uh, just roll an insight for check for me, please. Um, just to see. Okay. Um, after that shot, after that shot of whiskey, she seems a little more relaxed. Um, the drink has released some of the tension in her shoulders, and she does she notice you coming? Um, Do you want me to roll stealth for this? No, I mean if you're if you don't have to roll. Um, she she kind of gives you a glance and she doesn't really say anything. She looks over to you, looks over at the table, and she you know she le seems a little more relaxed than she was back upstairs. Does she have a bottle? The bottle is in the middle of the table, and she you know made the motion for people to take partake if they wish to. Uh, you yeah, notice that uh, Pip um, goes over to the edge of the table and tries to reach for the bottle. She's 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 quite she's petite for a a gnome. She's quite short for a gnome. I mean, yeah, even for a gnome. And she's trying to reach the bottle, but she she can't quite get it. So I grab the bottle. I got two glasses. I fill them. I give one to the gnome to Pip. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I sit down and I start drinking with Julie. Okay. Uh, Julie, you know, holds up a glass to you and nods, and Pip also holds up. Tip also holds up a glass. She now she has done a complete 180 from her somber mood upstairs. She's now smiling, show you know her teeth showing. Um, give me a perception check, uh, Denethor. All right, um, <laughs> you, there is like a slight flash of white from her mouth, probably, you know, her sparkling pearly white smile, um, but other than that, you know, she seems like the, the alcohol after she takes a sip kind of relaxes the tension in her muscles, and she says, thank you, good sir, it's always, always, Always nice to have somebody who knows how to help our, our short folk. Um, she she smiles and she says, "So, my good friend, where are you from?" And you notice that you know Lek and Ramus are trying to, are engaging in a little small talk. Um, Ramus is looking at now the exposed um, neck of Lek where the the choker sits. Um, and they're having a small conversation about that. And, you know, Pip just kind of looks at you expectantly with these wide green eyes waiting for you to speak. I look at him, I take a sip, and I don't answer. Okay. And, you know, she, that doesn't seem to damper her mood. She just grins wider, and then she begins just talking. She, she starts talking about you know, the area, she talks about the, the creature, she talks, she goes into an in-depth discussion with herself seemingly, only looking to you, nodding every once in a while about, you know, issues, and she just keeps talking and talking and talking, and she's, you know, you know you're not even saying anything, she's just, yeah. just talking your ear off, and... And um, I, I, and I, I grab the bottle. <laughs> I, I, I look at the bottle and I'm trying to figure out like the alcohol percentage. <laughs> um, this. And then I, I look at it and I'm like, Are you sure you can even drink this? <laughs> <laughs> she she smiles and's like, uh, I used to um, she said I used to make moonshine when I was still in the underdark. She says. Uh, out of the the fungus that grew there, uh, it, the, the the alcohol contact seems on par with what you guys have on the surface, though I don't know if the 
the taste of dull, earthy mushrooms was a good pairing with the high alcohol content. Um, the, the you know the fire you would you would have after drinking something such as this down your throat. It, I don't know if it makes a good combination. I I prefer you know my my drink made out of the the surface plants here. But you know if you ever want to take a sip of 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 what I have named fungi wine, then you are more than welcome to. And at that, let... I look at Julian. I'm like. <laughs> are you are you are you hearing this? <laughs> are you thinking of the same thing thing as, as I am? <laughs> uh, uh, Julie looks at you as like I I I I don't know. <laughs> what are you think? She can't quite. She's 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 taken in her probably her third shot at this point, and she's like, I uh, Aradil I Arendil I don't know what you're thinking <laughs> i i don't know what are you thinking just tell me straight and pip looks you know very expectantly at you and at um at julie and at you um you know, denethor arendelle i whisper to the to pip and i say bring three glasses of that wonderful of she, she um she shoves her hand into a bag that looks like a bag of holding. Um, she brings out this huge um if you've ever seen like wine that's sold in like really really large jugs you know like the discount wine, um <laughs> that's like I don't know how many how much um that goes for pretty cheap. She puts it onto she puts it onto the table you know doesn't seem to struggle at lifting this huge jug from her her bag. Um, Julie looks at it quite wide-eyed as you see like there is this sort of bioluminescent um, sort of it looks like bioluminescent dust that kind of swirls within the jug as she puts it down as the liquid sloshes. And you see, and Lek immediately, you know, her eyes wide. And she kind of gives Pip a knowing smile. And, you know, Pip is already, you know, pouring glass after <laughs> glass and immediately, you know, hands it, hands one to you, uh, uh, Aaron. Aaron Dill and hands one to Julie. Um, Ramus, you notice that Julie had call, called Denethor a different name. Um, could you give me an insight roll, please? Wow. All right, good. Um, so she calls this, uh, she calls. Uh, Denethor, um, Arendelle, and when Julie says that, she, she, for a moment, you think you saw a, you know, a sincere smile and sort of a, like, a loving, protective, um, not mother-like, but care- giver type of gaze towards Denethor and you know you you know Denethor re reacted sort of in kind um and she she goes back to her drink um at this point uh Julie at uh, Julie has you know sniffed the 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 wine takes a sip and her eyes kind of her eyebrows kind of arc and it's like what did you say? And Julie looks at Pip. What did you say this was made of? And Pip starts going into the lengthy process of turning bioluminescent fungus into the jug of wine, the the jug of fungi wine that Lek has named. Um, back upstairs, Winnow is in the room with the prisoners. Uh, I, we assume, I assume that you did not have them, they're bound, but th are they gagged? 
Um, no, I don't think so. Unless the, the other ones have gagged them. Um, since nobody says they have gagged them, then I'm going to say they haven't been gagged. Um, you see that Jacob is sitting cross-legged on his bed. Um, you know, he, he is he is bound comfortably, not not too tight, um, but it doesn't look like, you know, he'd be able to get out anytime soon. And he he kind of l looks at you, you know, with this kind of questioning gaze. And he looks at the the cat who has now poked his head out of the bag and it's kind of just sleeping with his head poked out um, snoring very softly and Jacob kind of looks at you and he says am I permitted to ask questions or would you remain would you like me to remain silent You can ask a question, but I can't promise I will answer. That is more than I could hope for. I wonder, what is it like to be truly free? Uh, you can roll an insight on him if you want to and all. Yeah, sure. Maybe I should declare what I'm doing as well. Mm -hmm. this conversation yeah, sure. Go on. ahead. Uh, because of the that we might be scribed at the times to time. So mm -hmm. I'm actually sitting and performing the Tectmatic ritual for like extended period of time. So that's perfectly I fine. So if something magical happens, then I want to know. Okay. Um, all right, done. I'll, I'll, I'll write that in, I'll write that down. Okay. Um, yeah, he, he asked you while you're, you know, casting this ritual, um, what is it like to be truly free? Or, or it, when you, when he sees you pause, are are would you consider yourself truly free? This question has many answers. Um, do you mean free in nature to do what I want in the nature? Is that truly free? I I mean free to do whatever you please. Free to if your feet want to tr take you to another town yes free to I suppose free nature being free in I think nature's way too I, I guess I, I mean I Ian he, he, he his eyes flicker down to his wrists and to the outside I I, I don't think I've ever ever truly thought of being free before um uh is it is it is it worth it and he just looks at you expectantly uh, so question. is this the the one that was the slave that's asking this yes this is the slave that's asking this Yes, it, I would say it would be worth it, and I will define it so that you are free to make your own choices. And to be not free would be that other ones make the choices for you. And I would say that the price to make your own choices can might be high, but I should say it's worth it. But truly free, I don't know if anyone is truly free. That would mean you have access to all choices. That seems to be fair. I I don't know if what we're doing is worth the cost it may have in the future and he 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 just he just stares stares at what your inside check it he's trying it looks like he's trying to find some he's trying to come to some conclusion upon what with the knowledge he knows um, it, it possibly could be related to what's happening currently to his situation 
um, and and the war too. You know, it, it's, it pulses in at a steady, steady beat um, because you have detect magic on. You notice that, but it doesn't seem to be growing any stronger or weaker during this conversation. It's just kind of steady, and he he says. I don't know whether whether or not it will be worth it in the end, he says, as he as he looks away from you. I I would after traveling with you all for a while, I feel that that what we may be I've never been outside of my homeland before this and after experiencing what um, after experiencing what I've have for these few couple these these past you know days I and after seeing how other people live I'm afraid we made a terrible mistake And he just closes his eyes and takes a deep breath. Well, when we solve your ward, you will get a new choice. And then you might make a better one. That that actually sound And the choices would be my own. Correct? Be, yes, exactly. I, I think I like having choices, he says. Uh, though I do not have a choice currently... I I think that being able to make my first real choice will be will be will be won't be I think I'll like that. And you see him open his eyes, you know, just lean his head back against a wall, looking up at the ceiling, closing his eyes once more. And 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 just he seems to be con contemplating on the words you you two just had exchanged. And yeah. meanwhile, Robert's just looking at you guys like frustrated, and it's, just, it's like I'm going back. To, I'm going to fucking sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I observe the slave and our Stockholm syndrome that is growing, mm -hmm. uh, and I just focused on my magic. Mm, okay. Um, back downstairs, um, Ramus, are you partaking in the fungus wine, fungi wine, or are you just yeah, still drinking yeah, water? I'm not drinking the funky wine. Okay. I'll stick with my water for now. Okay. Um, Zenithor, you are partaking in the fungi wine. So is Julie, and so is everyone at the table. Um, I'm going to ask you, uh, well, Aaron, the... Uh, Aaron Dill to roll a constitution save, so will Pip, so will everybody at the table, except for Ram is currently, who is drinking water. Oh. <laughs> All right, um, oh, and then... I look like my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, was not okay. <laughs> that was not okay for you. I actually need to get Pip's and um, Pip's Constitution save. Uh, where's her? Where's her character sheet? Right there. Uh, proficiency. Oh, not not Constitution. That's that's great. Um, so that is okay. And D twenty plus two. Oh boy. <laughs> and D twenty plus uh three. Okay. Um. Everyone's Everybody at the table is so fucking drunk. It's not even. It's it's weird. <laughs> it's okay, Ramus. Ramus is like, I'm not fucking drinking that. It's, just, it's glowing. <laughs> it's literally glowing. Um, at this point, you know, Pip is you know standing. You know, got on the table somehow and starts singing a song in. 
in under in 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 an in, 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 in under speak and it, it's just like the, the the voice that comes out of her uh, along with being quite drunk it, it's just like guttural um type of speech uh, but it you know she was able to carry a tune in it and you know Leck is you know raising her glass and trying to egg um pip on uh, Julie is kind of, you know, head, front, for, front, um, forehead on the table, you know, trying to be like, what, what's going on? What is life? <laughs> Everybody's pretty intoxicated, other than Ramus and probably the dog, who of course isn't allowed to drink alcohol. Ramus, uh, would you like to do anything while, you know, this camaraderie is happening? Um, I'm gonna start singing in Dwarvish. <laughs> try and, like, match the tune. Or Dwarven, I guess. And All right. Ma match Pip's tune. Okay. Um, give me a performance check. Oh, boy. All right, so you are able to keep in tune. You make up this kind of silly Dwarven rhyme, um... That goes along with, you know, the tune that Pip is carrying. And, you know, she, you know, immediately goes over to you, sticks a hand out in front of her, like she's trying to motion you to get on the table with her. Oh, this, is, this might be a bad idea. Let's do it anyway. <laughs> All right, so you easily, you're not, you're not drunk, so I'm not going to make him rope maker check or anything. So she, you know, she, you grasp her arm. She pulls you up. She seems a little stronger than you think um, uh, for a, a gnome her size. And when, you know, she's wearing, she were, she was wearing these plain traveler's clothes. And as she lifts, you know, grabs your arm and, you know, pulls you on the table, you see the hint of maybe a, you know, a chain shirt beneath, a very finely made chain shirt beneath her robes. And then she, she's, she probably only comes to your waist, if even. So she, you know, tries to sling an arm around you, kind of grabbing an, uh, 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 a bottom full of she you. She grabs my tushy? Yeah, she grabs your tushy. She's really short, so she's, like, standing there, and then she lifts her arms, and you're not sure. I mean, you can make an insight check to see if she's actually trying to grab your ass. Or she is just where her hand ended up. Okay, that's good. Um... <laughs> She's really drunk. She's, 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 she, you see there's empty cups where she was sitting, multiple em empty cups, and you think it may have been, you know, an accident at first trying to grab your ass, um, but you, <laughs> but then, then you notice, you know, her hand adjusting after the initial contact, and her hand just kind of hovers well not hovers but kind of stays there and she's swaying back and forth you know singing this you know this this, this song and uh under speak just this, like the guttural sound just in tune with the dwarven noise um when oh from upstairs <laughs> <laughs> you are hearing like this slightly off tune in like you know, this strange language. Uh, then you hear, a d like, a dwarven song. It sounds kind of like Ram is joining in. And then there's, like, a slight squeak somewhere in there. And <laughs> and you're you're not sure what the hell is happening. Well, uh, Robert looks like he's just, you know, trying to get some sleep mumbling to himself. You know, shit is terrible and... And after your short conversation with Jacob, he, you know, he hasn't really said too much since. He still looks like he's in contemplation. Um, Pip, um, I mean, Julie raises her head. She looks at the scene in front of her and then just puts her head back down. Just kind of like shaking her head, putting her head back down. Um, uh, like, dude. <laughs> 
Dwarven kind know nothing about songwriting. <laughs> and Elvis is a proper language. <laughs> I can do that too. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ram? Do you start singing in Elvish? Yes, yes, I okay. do. All right, roll another performance check. Um, so immediately after you say that, um, Aaron Thill, not in not so great Elvish, but decent-ish, <laughs> you know, decent-ish. You know, Ramus starts belting out this tune. Um, I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm. <laughs> Uh, you oh. notice that Leck is Leck is like, oh hell yeah, and then she um, she actually let's see what she can do. Where's her spell list? Right. I get up and try to <laughs> you roll me a performance check, please. <laughs> and Hello? she is going to cast um, no. light. You're a little wobbly, but you're okay. You're not, you know, are you trying to get on the table? No, I'm just like, I'm doing my own shit. You know? <laughs> All right, Black Dog is weaving between your legs, kind of like one of those dogs who dance with people trying to, yeah. like, you know, cheerfully cheer you on. Uh, Lek casts um, several different colored lights that sort of shine above you know, the people on the table um, singing, kind of like get, trying to get like a disco effect, but she <laughs> um, she's actually going to roll performance. She's, she's, she's instead it starts blinding Ramus <laughs> <laughs> and Pip and Ramus, I need you to make a dexterity check for me, please. Dex save or dex check? Dex save, please. Um, okay. Pip will also roll one. Um, since she's arm and arm with you, you you should you guys should be fine. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm. You're fine. you're good. You're like oh my eyes, but you're like you keep on dancing. Um, Pip, unfortunately, her foot kind of, she takes a step back and then she realizes that there's nothing behind her, and then she you know she you know seems in this kind of happens and it looks like it happens in slow motion where she takes a step back and then she realizes there's nothing behind her so she starts falling and then a second a, a second like an instant second later her back goes wham onto the the the, the floor and she just continues to sing <laughs> 